Hello and welcome back to this series of videos on how to repair an accordion. So all of the reed beds have now been rewaxed. The next job is to sort out the little problem of these buttons here and if you can look you can see that this white panel is not sitting, it's not seated properly. So I need to dismantle this uh, and try and refit that. It's quite difficult to see where where to start with this. A couple of pins here, but I think I'm not sure that they're gonna help the situation. Right. I'm just gonna talk. So here we are with the inside of the button section. That button's just fallen down, so we need to repos try and reposition. You can see that some of the buttons are not where they should be. Start by just trying repositioning all the ones I can actually see where they're in the wrong position. Let me see if that solves any of the issues. So all of the buttons are now back in position, although it's probably quite hard to see, but this part. It's warped, it's probably been warped over time and I need to try and put, put it back together, try and position it so that it's fairly flush but all of the keys now seem to be working. Well we won't know for sure until we put the reed beds back in and the accordions all back, back together. But we'll put, put the back back on now. I don't like the idea of using glue to try and put this panel back in, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a little tiny bit of glue along here and then clamp it. Uh, not enough to actually stick this whole back plate, but just enough to hold it while, um, while it, we can try and pull the plate back into position. So the next job before putting the reblocks in is just to clean these, this mechanism here. I'm going to do that with compressed air. Just blow any dust. We don't need, we don't, we shouldn't oil it. Um, and we'll give it a bit of a wipe over. We have this stuff called Aeroduster, which is just compressed air, forget it for cleaning electrical components but it doesn't leave a residue so we'll just give it a bit of a spray. Switches seem to be working fine. Just 
just give it a quick dust. Get rid of her. There's not much, but a little bit surface. Clean. Right, so we're now replacing the base reed blocks. And what I've done is I've just pulled that out ever so slightly so that I can reposition it through there and into there. And I can push it along. And there it is, it's in. Next one. Same principle again. Just pull that a little bit through there. There's a hole for it to go through. I can get it. It's got stuck. There we go. Through. goes over the other side of that little notch there. Let's two of them in. This third bit block doesn't have a rod, it's just going to sit in. Into there. a slight problem. What's happened is this bit here is broken so we're going to have to get some wood glue and put that back into place before placing this last reed bed. I'll take that out again. I'll just quickly get some wood glue and do that. So there it is. What we'll do is we'll leave that and let it harden, probably overnight. And I'll just, I'm just going to tighten these bits up here. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what I do, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.